Good to go. Wonderful. Thank you, Blady. I appreciate it. Okay. All right, guys. Welcome. Um, Blady, give me a quick thumb up here. Can you guys, you can hear me okay before I get going? Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Great. Thank you. Thanks a lot for jumping on, guys. 8.31, a minute or so after 8.30. But I really appreciate you being here. I'm grateful for the opportunity to share and spare my Wednesday evening with you guys. I'll be done by nine o'clock. Um, and I'm grateful for this. So the two things you will get out of the next 25 or 30 minutes or so are the following. Number one, I'm going to give you an understanding of the business, the business model, and why I choose to pursue this. The number two objective is I'm going to invite you throughout this conversation or throughout the presentation tonight. And especially once you leave, I'm going to invite you, excuse me, to reflect on current behaviors and take action, which is consistent with the best version of yourself. I'm not talking about actions which keep you in the comfort zone, which keep you on the current track. I'm asking, you know, probe you and push you a little bit to take action, which uh, equates to the best version of who you are and who you want to be. Okay, a couple of caveats before we start. Number one, I am not going to be going deep into ashwagandha and aloe and turmeric. That is not me. I'm not that person. This is a business overview. So while I stand behind these products 100%, if you are looking for a deep dive on the product, I am not your guy, but I can point you in the right direction. I am simply talking business tonight. I'm talking about service. I'm talking about health. I'm talking about community. But deep dive on the makeup of these products and the various minerals, I'm not your guy for that, okay? So, next slide. There we go. Another disclaimer here, obviously, um, isogenics doesn't work unless you work, all right? So, integrity is foremost in everything that we do within this organization. And I'll be honest, I sat on the sidelines for close to two years, checking out this company, looking at it, probing, listening for any, any signs of shadiness. And since March of 2018, there has been zero. So everything you see on this slide here, I wanted to start there because I'm a big integrity person and I firmly believe that trust is the foundation of everything. And once that is gone, the cracks there take a long, long time to replace and to crack. So obviously, um, isogenics doesn't work unless you do. Okay, so who am I? I'm a married father to four young children, my wife Julie there in the picture, my eldest daughter Claire on the right, uh, my son, our son Ryan in the middle, he is 10, and we have the twins there, uh, Ella and Nora. Ella on the left was the one wearing the Jerry Garcia t-shirt tonight, for those of you who heard that. So I'm um, grateful for our health, grateful for this amazing family, and a big part of my why are the five other people you see in that picture there. So I wanted to start with that. I have... I was, excuse me, in corporate America for 15 years. I was a sales director for a big pharmaceutical company. I enjoyed it for a long time. Uh, lots of great relationships, lots of great service, lots of great training. However, something that nagged at me for the last several years of that experience was we as an organization did a phenomenal job of taking care of people when they got sick, specifically with two or three diseases. We did a great job once they were sick. And it always bugged me that what can I, what can we do to help intervene earlier on in the life cycle of people to try and help them out? Now, while you can never completely eradicate and eliminate the chance of disease, I've been a firm believer in recent years and I've come to this realization that nutrition is key. So um, doing a bit more earlier on in people's lives to help them out, both from a health perspective, from a community perspective, and from a financial perspective, uh, is something that I'm gonna to touch on here in this conversation. So bottom line here, that's a big part of my why, the people you see in that slide there, especially the five, uh, my wife and four kids. I'm very grateful to be here today, but I'm, I have aspirations to, and I, just to do a bit more. I do not wanna play a game with people. I wanna change the game. And I believe that there's a huge amount of people out there right now who are stressed, anxious, and I'm not talking just because of COVID, that doesn't help clearly. But there's a huge number of people out there who are clocking in, who are clocking out, who are staring out that office space window on a Tuesday afternoon thinking, is this it? Maybe I'll get to make his practice tonight. Maybe I'll get to spend time with my loved one at the weekend. All right. So I believe there's a lot of people out there. And if that's you, I'm talking directly to you. here. Take a second, jump to the next slide. These slides don't want to shift. Hey, Blady, my screen, there we go, excuse me. All right, 
Good deal. Thank you. So before I jump into who we are, just want to highlight a couple of problem areas. One in particular is money. Now, I'm not going to read through this entire slide here. You guys are educated enough to read and nothing on here will be a surprise to you. All right. The explosion of side jobs in recent years, the explosion of industries that have disrupted existing stable industries. The taxi industry is still outraged because Uber decided to come along. You know, the hotel industry is outraged because Airbnb decided to come along. All right. So that's not a surprise. Uh, some of the numbers which were a surprise to me when I saw these slides and did some research, is just the amount of debt that we have. Now you see student debt highlighted there, 1.5 trillion, trillion with a T. That's not an M or a B, that's a T, okay? And then if you jump down to the bottom there, you can see some of those other macro statistics. Less than 10% of Americans earn $100,000 or more a year. Average credit card balance is over $6,000, which I thought was low considering the numbers I had seen. And 40 million Americans are living in housing that they cannot afford. Now, there is a bunch of other statistics out there that you can look at in your own time, but the bottom line is people need money. Sorry guys, I'm having problems here trying to shift to the next slide. Sometimes if you just hit the escape button, you can get back to your slides. Wonderful, thank you. This slide here is highlighting some of the, the geographic the geographic change, uh, challenges with finances. So I'm not gonna jump into this too much. You can basically see the monthly take home pay um, in five different geographic areas, Los Angeles, Denver, Houston, Chicago, New York, the annual salary needed to buy a home, you can see it in the low end, 61,000 there in Houston. Average credit card debt you can see is in that 6,000 range. So bottom line here, people need more take home money. So I'm gonna to start to jump into a solution here. I want you to think a little bit differently. I want you to think about, you know, when you go to Walmart or Target or Harris Teeter or Food Line or whatever the store of choice is, how much money do you spend there when you go there? I want you to think about that. I want you to think about how much money do you spend there. I want to think about the quality of products that you're getting. I want you to think about how much money they give you back. You know, most of these stores have some sort of little incentive program. You know, Kohl's is my favorite. You walk into Kohl's and you buy two t-shirts. They don't tell you it costs $28. They told you that you saved, you know, $150. It's like, really, buddy? It's a t-shirt, you know? So lots of these companies out there are using, are trying to get into the space of giving you incentives and telling you that you're saving. So the question I have for you guys is, if you think about how much money your family or family unit spends on food, okay, does it relate to that number at the top of the screen there? 660 per customer per month. Um, that includes 372 in food at home and just under 300 on, on takeout food. And these statistics are all according to the USA Today. So if you run the math on that, three meals per day, 30 days a month, that's 90 meals a month. You can see there, based on the USA Today math, that's seven, just over $7 per meal per person. Okay, so for example, and if this next line means nothing to you, that's okay. It will in the next uh, in, in the next few weeks. One of our whole blend isoline shakes costs less than four dollars a serving. So, um, my point here from a business perspective is that you guys spend money every single month, and all of your friends spend money every single month, and they don't even think about going and dropping a hundred bucks, one hundred and fifty bucks, two hundred bucks, or in this example here, you know. $372 in food, just for food they eat at home each month. So I want you to think about that and what can you do or is there a way for you to disrupt that or intercept that model and place yourself closer to where the profits are handed out. So a couple of reasons why you should consider partnering with us. Okay, and again, I'm not gonna read all of these here because you guys can do that yourself. Number one, if you're thinking of starting another business, think about all the legal, you know, situations you have to work through, the, the tax ramifications. I need a business, I need to do an LLC, uh, I, I need a vehicle, I need inventory, I need storage space, I need staff, right? Think of all those countless things that you have to do to historically open a business, all right? What do you need to do to open a business with Isogenics? Basically open a wholesale account and order 200 or $250 worth of food for month number one, and then you eat your inventory. That's what you have to do. No special degrees, and there's nothing against special degrees. I'm a firm believer that education is crucial. We need doctors, we need engineers, we need lawyers, okay? But for this business, you don't need any special degrees. What you do need is a special desire to serve people and, and a backbone to push against the grain that we've been told and sold for a number of years about 
you know, what is the right way to do things. You also, if you think it, you can work from anywhere, many of you, many, I was the same. We worked in a specific place. You had to go to a certain office space or a certain location every single day, every single week. This one, it's mobile. And I talk to some of the 20 or 25 year olds nowadays and they think I'm a dinosaur because I used to go to a physical office space, a physical office space. So there's another reason why you should consider uh, working with isogenics. And then I'm going to jump down to the bottom here. I'm not going to go on too much about personal development and growth. I'm not going to go on too much about the culture, um, both of which I could spend an entire 30 minutes talking about by myself, um, but I'm not going to do that. The incredible nutrition, the results, I'm going to jump on that for a second. The quality of products here are all third party tested. They're all healthy. They, uh, I can't really speak enough to the quality of the products. And to give you a quick side story, when I came in in March of 2018, it was just me. I tried these products for a month or so. And as I said, I was kind of skeptical, kind of a cynic. Melissa, who I trusted completely said, you should try this ultimate pack. And I had no idea what that was, but like three days later, like a, one of those Penske bus things showed up with like four boxes. And I thought, what in the world is happening? Everything in that thing was gold. And since that time, every single month without fail, I will order. We tweak the order. Sometimes we do the shakes because we need more. Sometimes we do the snacks or the multivitamins. But the incredible nutrition and results, that third bullet point from the bottom, to partner with this organization, we're not advocating that you sell pens. There's nothing wrong with pens. We're not advocating that you sell phones. Nothing wrong with phones. We're advocating that you consume quality nutrition, which helps you and that you share that with other friends and family who you feel could benefit from quality nutrition. Okay, that's it. Next slide. I promise the next slide is coming. Sorry guys, my screen's frozen now. Hey Blady, I'm gonna pause this for a sec, see if I can yeah, re-upload, re okay? Cause it's uh, pause share. Let me do this. Okay, I'm gonna go this way, okay. All right, you guys still with me? Yes. Thank Lady, you. Thank you. All right. yeah. mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you. I'm gonna keep the slides like this so we can avoid that delay the next time. So who are Isogenics established in 2002, family owned, currently in 26 markets globally. So for the business minded people on the line who you live in North Carolina, you live in New Jersey, you live in Idaho, you live in Pennsylvania, you are not limited to the geographic boundaries. So for those corporate folks out there, or for some of the corporate folks or professional folks that you may be engaging with, they are likely in their day job to currently have a specific territory. You know, you can't go outside of these three or four zip codes, right? That's your world. Outside of that boundary, that artificial boundary, um, you can't do anything, okay? The boundaries with isogenics, if you want to talk to somebody in the UK, you talk to somebody in the UK. You want to talk to somebody in Australia, Italy, you have that. So the boundaries that we are restricted by in much of corporate America or many of your day jobs do not apply here. So the scalability there is phenomenal. So you can obviously appreciate the potential that exists because of that. Uh, 8 billion total in global sales since 2002. You've got over 300 individuals who have earned more than a million cumulatively in their isogenics business. Uh, and over 15 million given to charity and obviously a journey to zero waste by 2028. So again, what this slide says in short is that these guys are legitimate, these guys are to be trusted, and these guys are not going anywhere, all right? They're not going anywhere. In fact, the only place they are going is to more than 26 countries and into more people's lives because of the good that, the good that they do, okay? These guys are the real deal. So I've spent the first 15 or so minutes talking about the problem and I've touched on the solution. So the bottom line here from a business perspective is that I don't know anybody who complains about having too many revenue streams. I don't know anybody who complains about having too much money. All right, so how does it work? Number one, you set up 
a wholesale account. That takes 10 minutes. It costs you 10 minutes of your time. That's what it costs you. That doesn't cost you any money, okay? You order your products. Step number two, if you wanna have the option of selling and distributing and sharing isogenics, you would then upgrade to associate. That costs you a $29 fee. That's all it costs. So imagine if Jeff Bezos at Amazon had came, come to you in 1998 and said, hey Martin, hey Blady, I've got this thing. It's like a website. I'm going to do books and maybe some movies. And I don't really know where it's going, but I'm doing it in my garage right now. And I would love for you to kind of share it with people. All right. That's the tip of what we guys, what we are looking at right now. And that is not hyperbole. That's not a hyperbole. I don't really do that too much. I, as I told you before, I came into this kind of skeptical, a little bit cynical, waiting. I'd had some difficult experiences previously, but this one has panned out perfectly. So I want you to think about that Amazon account that you guys currently have. I bet you don't even think twice about paying that prime fee each year, right? Was it 99 bucks, 200? I bet you don't even think twice. Boom, I do it. Done. Okay. And then you think, wow, what a great deal. And then you get the shoes and the, the mail or you get the t-shirt or the school supplies. We just ordered school supplies again. The school supplies, they all come, right? These things that so you don't even think twice about it, all right? Another example, Netflix. Who doesn't have Netflix, okay? You pay that fee every month, right? Was it 11, 12 bucks now? You pay it every month. That's what you pay. You don't even think twice about it, all right? You've got people who drop $12,000 on a car, don't even think twice. $25,000 on a car, don't even think twice, okay? $200. $200 here gets you in the game, okay? Gets you in the game, quality nutrition, and $29 gives you the option to actually share it with other people. And then I'll share this model in a second about how that works and the business volume that you bring in, you get credit for that. Like, can you imagine if every time you referred somebody to Amazon, Jeff gave you a 6%, can you imagine that over time? All right, how about every time you did Netflix, you referred Netflix, somebody you gave you 6%. Or how about the soccer club that your child goes to, the gymnastics show? You know, how about the restaurant, okay? There's a great restaurant in where, where I live in, in Mooresville. I must honestly have referred about 30 people there in the last two years. You know how much money I received for that referral? If you think more than zero, you're wrong. Zero, okay? But you know what? It's the right thing to do because it's a great restaurant, okay? This one right here, you have great nutrition. People don't need to blow up, blow up their entire budget. <laughs> they don't need to do that at all. Spend a little bit of money, start to build your wholesale account, get credit for the business that you bring in and then watch the asset grow. Okay, so that's step number two. Step number three, and before I get into these next three or four slides, I just want you to look at the, the little people. I don't want you to look at left team, right team, PIBs, BIBs, RABs, I don't want you to think about that. Don't go there, that's a conversation for the person who invited you to this call. That's a conversation for another time. I want you to think high level, and remember that Amazon example I gave you, okay? so that. Say so that's my wife in the middle there, you, because that's definitely not me, because her hair is different than mine. All right, so that's my wife there in the middle, okay? And she refers two people to say, hey, you know what, you should start, you should do this isogenics, it's great, I love it, you should do it with me. Okay, so my wife refers the lady on the left and the guy on the right, okay? Okay, they order a certain package, you know, my wife gets a little kickback there initially, okay, that's fine, but I'm not going into that today. Just watch the model grow. I just want you to watch the model, that is it. Think about Amazon all the way through here. She refers two people, they refer a couple of people. They refer a couple of people. They refer a couple of people. They refer a couple of people, okay? I'm gonna pause right here, okay? So remember that Amazon example. Remember my restaurant example, okay? That's my wife or I up there in the middle at you. We refer certain people. Now, every time they go in and purchase, that volume cycles back through us. We get credit for that, okay? We get credit for that. That's on us. We created that revenue. We opened up this whole new market here. Yes, Isogenics wins. They get to move more of their quality product. Those individuals indicated on the screen here, they win because they're receiving quality nutrition. I forget precisely what the customer retention numbers are for Isogenics. The last time I heard it, it was 80 something, maybe 90. It was, it was high, it was like 80% of customers reorder. You wanna know what my old corporation would have done for an 80% reorder customer retention? If we got over 30%, we were delighted. 30%. Isogenics gets greater than 80. So what that means is that you can stand by these products knowing that they work. People come back, okay? So I'm gonna stop there in regards to the business model, the problem, and the overall model. I think you guys can see how quickly this can grow and accelerate. Last couple of slides here before I let you go. Some questions I want you guys to consider, and I'm gonna ask these and give you a very brief answer. 
but you want to screenshot these and take these and talk to the person who referred you onto the call or invited you here, I would encourage you to do that. If you want to talk to me, I'll happily talk to you as well, but make sure you reach out to that person who invited you to the call. Walmart and Target, great companies, right? Harris Teeth, they're all great companies. When was the last time you saw a before and after picture for one of those guys? You know, I don't remember that. Okay. You cannot go on the internet. I don't care which site you go on, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You cannot go on there without seeing a before and after of some isogenics person. All right. The social proof here is off the chart. So when you walk into the store this weekend or your husband does or your wife does, or you're driving by the store and you see people walking in and walking out, I want you to think about that. Like the impact of that purchase. Okay. The impact of that purchase. And I don't sit here in the cheap seats saying that, I've never bought a buy one, get one, or I've never bought two for three. You know, I'm, I've, I did that. I did that. But in the last few years, I've become far more intentional about where I'm spending my time and what I'm purchasing. Second question, do you fully understand the economic power of your family unit? When I analyzed this two and a half years ago, I realized that this really was a redirection of income we were already spending. We were already spending six or $700 a month at that time per person on food. That's all we were doing. So all I did was redirect it. Now, instead of the junky cereal, we have shakes. Now, instead of the multivitamins from GNC or Target or whatever fancy brand looked good in Walmart or was on sale, we buy them through isogenics. The chips that we used to buy, buy them through isogenics. Protein bars, isogenics. My wife does the makeup or the moisturizer or something. I don't really know what it is, but she's happy and we're good. All right. So we basically just redirected income away from other organizations to this one because it's quality and because we are building an asset. Third question, I'm not gonna go into that too much. I think I've made that point already. How often do you actually refer a product or a service? Um, so I'm not gonna go into it too much, but what I will say is that at some point you have to give yourself permission to go move closer to where the profits are handed out. I was so programmed for so long that oh, I can't get money because I referred somebody to this. Why can't, I can't do that. I'm not allowed to do that. It was my own head. Okay, it was my own head. There's people out there all the time doing deals and referring. You refer probably five or six times today. You referred and maybe didn't even think about it. Okay, so I would invite you to think about how often you refer a program, a product, a service, and how much money comes back in your direction for referring a quality product. The Amazon example, I've shared that one. I'm not going to go into that one too much. Cost of entry here really is pride and ego. You know, somebody once told you that, you know, things like this didn't work or things like this were weird or you had a bad experience or your, your uncle Sam's cousin's third friend said that, da, da, da. okay, cool. All right. That wasn't this. That was their experience. So you're going to take their word of mouth and their referral. Okay. Again, it's all referrals, right? You're taking their opinion and putting that on your back and saying, I'm going to run with that. Okay. That doesn't, that doesn't work for me. Okay. That doesn't work for me. I think this template we've been sold at clocking in and clocking out, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. And if it works for people, that's great. It doesn't work for me. And I don't really think it works for you too. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. If you could create the perfect system, what would it look like? I asked this question to a friend a few weeks ago and at no point did he say, I would go to college for four years and rack up $80,000 in debt. I would then get a job in an office. I would have to ask my boss for vacation. I would miss, um, I'd be in a job where I wasn't really fully fulfilled. I miss kids practices. I didn't get to see people I loved as much as I wanted to. You get my point, right? So if you could create a system by yourself, what would it look like? I would encourage you over the next few days, take out a piece of paper and write out what that system looks like. Okay, I think you'll be surprised, but you're not gonna to get to that place if you don't write that out and document it. Last couple of questions. What vehicles are you currently using to build an asset? Okay, is it, is it just a 401k, is it just an IRA, or are you actually redirecting some of your other income and building an asset? I'm into income producing assets. That's what I'm into. And all I'm doing here with this situation is redirecting an existing spend away from other organizations to isogenics and I'm sharing it with people. That's it. That is the simple way of the most simple way of explaining this opportunity. And the last question is kind of a challenge and it's kind of a poke. Do you want to build an income producing asset while feeding yourself and your family with quality nutrition? Okay. Every other question on this screen is an open-ended one. That's a closed-ended one. It's either a yes, I do or a no, I don't. All right, so I really appreciate you being here. I really appreciate you allowing me to talk for 25 or 30 minutes. Usually I like to engage in a dialogue, but this is more one-way traffic, so I appreciate you guys listening and hanging in there with me. Please reach out to the person who invited you to the call and follow up with them. If you have any feedback for me, obviously, please share. 
about 20 minutes ago, I told you I was going to give you an understanding of the business, reflect on your current behaviors and take action consistent with the best version of yourself, not with the complacent version of yourself, not with a version of yourself that talks about doing something tomorrow or next week or thinking about it. The person who takes action and is consistent with the best person version of yourself. I want that for you. And I'm really grateful for you taking the time to spend half an hour or so with me. So thank you for joining. Have a wonderful rest of your night and hope to see you guys soon. Take care.